Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski. When people talk about great war films, they usually discuss movies like The Dirty Dozen or Bridge on the River Kwai, Men in Action, Men Doing Something Heroic. Now those are classic films, but I'm not sure how much they have to do with what war really is, the brutality, the randomness of death. I was once in a meeting at the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, and I was seated across from Frank Pearson, the legendary writer of Dog Day Afternoon and Cool Hand Luke. The subject of great war films came up, and both of us instantly blurted out, Come and see! Which, of course, nobody at the table had ever heard of. The film has a little higher profile now. Mark Cousins, in his documentary The Story of Film, calls Come and See the best war film of all time. I agree, so let's take a look. This is a Russian film from the early 1980s, the height of the Cold War when Ronald Reagan was joking that he would begin bombing in five minutes. At the time, the film was wrongly dismissed as Soviet propaganda, but it's really just anti-war. Believe it or not, the original title of the script was Kill Hitler, but not meant in the Inglorious Bastards kind of way. This movie is about killing the Hitler in all men, the side that thinks violence and power and hate will somehow lead to something glorious. The director, Elam Klimov, had been a young boy during World War II escaping from the Battle of Stalingrad with his mother, witnessing horrors beyond imagination. He wanted to get that down on film. The actual title of the movie comes from the Book of Revelations. As each of the four horsemen of the apocalypse are revealed, we are ordered to come and see. And that's what the director brilliantly does here, turning his camera on conquest, war, death, and famine. He is a master of visuals and of sound. This looks like no other film. The great cinematographer Roger Deakins put Come and See on his list of the 10 greatest films of all time. And the soundtrack is radical. After a bombing early in the picture, the protagonist loses his hearing, and so do we in the audience. A large section of the film, we are in his head, with muffled sound, ringing ears. We are being driven to madness like the lead character. It is said that the actor playing the boy was hypnotized before filming certain scenes in order to give him a dazed, out of it look. This is not an easy movie to watch. The genocide of a village is shown in graphic detail, townspeople being burned and shot in a barn. Spielberg was influenced by this film for parts of Saving Private Ryan and Schindler's List. But the film it actually reminds me of is a movie that never got made, Stanley Kubrick's Abandoned Holocaust Project. Kubrick felt that World War II movies always focused on the survivors, but that the point of the Holocaust was unsurvivability. You get a sense of that in Come and See. The director never made another film, he put it all into this masterpiece. Oh.